Here's the second generation Volvo C70 Coupe Convertible. The first edition wasn't the success the Swedish brand was hoping for, with sales falling below the expected target number. Today, Volvo is hoping to do much better and literally double the sales of their coupe. The sales target has been set at 16,000 units worldwide, with half that number coming from the US alone. The soft top of the past has been replaced by a retractable hard top. While Volvo did the development work and built the C70, the design work was handled by Pininfarina. The roof is divided into three sections and in just 30 seconds the coupe transforms into a convertible. Once the top is down, there's a 15% loss in stiffness, and that's the weakest link in this automobile. The progress made since the first version is impressive, but it's still not the best. And even though it doesn't change very much when it comes to the actual driving, when looking at what the competition has to offer, this C70 seems to be still lagging behind. Shorter and lower than its predecessor, the new C70 harbours a sportier design. As new and innovative as the C70 is, it remains as loyal as ever to Volvo's identity. Whether it's with the top up or down, the lines are smooth and harmonious. The discretion and elegance found on the C70 is what car lovers have come to appreciate from Volvo. Its strong point, four adult passengers can be accommodated which is rare for a convertible. The only others that put this particular bill being the Audi A or Saab's 9.3 convertible. Another positive point, the sound. Every time we test drive a new Volvo, it's always the same story when it comes to the audio equipment. Even with the top down, the hi-fi is nothing less than surprising. On the other hand, we've grown accustomed to a better finish quality from Volvo. The fabrics used are okay enough, but the assemblage leaves something to be desired. And the atmosphere aboard remains quite respectable though. The wind blocker is an option, an option that is nearly mandatory. The boot offers a very credible loading capacity for a car in this sector. A nice little extra is that you just have to push a button to ease the access when you're in convertible mode. As we said earlier, the lack of stiffness doesn't impede the driving capabilities of the C70. The car runs remarkably smoothly. From the steering to the gearbox and engine, everything aspect contributes to the smooth running of this Swedish coupe. Add to that the comfort coming from the suspension, and you can drive at a more than reasonable speed, all the while enjoying the local scenery. And Volvo hasn't forgotten about safety. They've gone much further in the area of passive safety and have created an all-new concept with the first head airbag. Because there are no door pillars, they're found in the doors themselves. Six airbags are on offer as standard issue. So now you understand we like the new Volvo C70. The second generation has relegated Big Brother to the museums without seeming too nostalgic. Despite a few flaws, Volvo can be assured of better sales already because the price has come down, but also because Volvo's image keeps getting better and better.